Hi, I'm Rocket with Reckless Blenders, and welcome to Musings from Rocket Cellar. In today's session, I have a handful of announcements, got a quick update on the wine club, and I'll go through a quick rundown of what's tasting good. All right, let's get going. So the first announcement, all right, curbside days. They have served their purpose. We are going to say thank you very much and send them on their way. And now we're going to introduce Reckless Wine Days. All right, Reckless Wine Days have the exact same format and the exact same timing as curbside days, but we really want to embrace the new name. So starting July 31st, 2021, we'll have the first Carmichael Reckless Wine Day. It's gonna be freaking hot, so we will figure out a way to keep us cool. Um, we need to be safe because there are Delta variants running around and all that. Gotta do some balance and work and keep you cool and keep you safe. But we are so totally looking forward to that. So just a quick recap, on the first Saturday of the month is the Concord Reckless Wine Day. And on the last Saturday of the month, is the Carmichael Reckless Wine Day. That's the normal pattern. I strongly encourage you to keep an eye out either on the website, on the Facebook page, or in your emails for any announcements to changes to the, that timing. We've had a handful of them recently. For example, early July in Concord, it was super hot, so I had two reckless wine days, or actually at that time it was, it was carb, curbside days, later in the day, one on Friday late in the day and one on Saturday later in the day. And those are the kinds of shifts that we're gonna make as we get closer. And one of the cool things about reckless wine days is we're gonna find some themes for these days. So in two or three cases a year, it, the theme's gonna be big party. When I cater food, it's all gonna be in the backyard. It's gonna be wonderful. Our first party reckless wine day is going to be the last September, day of September, last Saturday of September. And that's gonna be a great opportunity. We're gonna have a bunch of different wine ability, you know, things to try. It's gonna be a wonderful time. We'll have some catering, we'll take it from there. So keep an eye out on for those kinds of things. Other themes we might do is like a Barbera day, we might do tasting days, um, blending days, I mean, uh, where, you know, here's a handful of things and have fun blending yourself. We don't know exactly where this is gonna go in terms of the themes. We're very much uh, in the early stages around those thought processes, but we are so looking forward to making that as part of the lineup for you. So my next thing to talk about in this musings is the wine club. So the Reckless Wine Club is fan freaking tastic I mean, you get 20% off of your wines, you get exclusive access and early access to the exclusive wines, you get a poster, you get to hang out with the Reckless Blenders, and it's just a wonderful thing because you're a, you have a level of assertion that you're gonna get some great wines from the Reckless Blenders. Now here's the thing, we are almost full in the allocation. This last year and a half has been wonderful in growth on the wine club. And one of the things I look for is I wanna make sure that you as a wine club member get access to all the different varietals, the, the, the varietals that are part of the current release. And that is a big deal because if we've got more wine club members than we have the ability to allocate, then somebody's gonna lose out. And that's not cool. So we cap the number of members in the wine club and we're almost full. So I encourage you, I strongly encourage you, if you're even remotely thinking, ah, hmm, I'd like to be a Reckless Wine Club member, go to the website, recklessblenders.com, and there right on the page is the wine club menu. Go there, gives you all the details, 
and then you have a couple of different options to add your name to the queue. Let's talk a quick bit about those options. We have what's called the Bottle of Month Club. And the Bottle of Month Club is you come by the Reckless Wine Days, you pick up your month, your, your wine once a month, and it doesn't have to be every month. You can you know, put some aside or whatever. And we keep your allocation. We make sure that you have, we have enough for you in your allocation. That's great if you live in the San Francisco Bay Area or in Sacramento, that works really well. But if you're not in the San Francisco or Sacramento areas, what do you do? We have the case club. And the case club is you can choose from one, two, or three cases, and you can have those shipped to you. So definitely check that out. There's what normally happens with the case club is in late September, we'll send out an email. I'll send you an email and say, and here's what we think you would enjoy from the current lineup. You have the opportunity to say, rock it. I like what you're selecting, ship it to me. Or you can say, eh, actually I'd prefer more of that. And can you substitute that with that? And oh, by the way, do you happen to have, mm, you get a chance to say those things. Now, once we've agreed on what you're going to get, I will send you an invoice. You will pay it. And as soon as you pay the invoice, we'll ship things out to you. Now, here's the thing. If you have, if it's hot out at that time, we may delay the shipment. And the other cool thing about the Case Club is it's not limited to once a year. If you said to me, hey, I need a case now or half a case now, happy to make that happen. So check out the wine club. If you're even remotely interested, definitely worth signing up. And really quickly on the process. So what happens is you'll fill out a form that'll put your name in the queue. Now, if there's room in the wine club, you'll get it immediately added. If there's not room, once there is, you'll be added. I'll let you know, hey, we're full now or whatever. And then, you know, once somebody decides that they no longer want to be, or they've let things expire, then I'll add you right in. So that's the way it works. Last thing in today's musings, what's tasting good? I'm trying to do this on a regular basis because, right, you know, the reckless wines evolve fairly interestingly after the first year. And like last time we talked, it was the Fian the um, Sangiovese that just had shown up and went, wow, I'm here. Same thing with the Barbera. So what else? I mean, those things are absolutely tasting spectacular right now. And I highly recommend getting some because we're getting near the end of both of those, the 18 Barbera and the 18 Sangiovese. On the horizon is the 19 Sangiovese and the 19 Barbera. Both are going to be spectacular. And right now you'd buy them and we'd recommend that you hold them for a little bit till you open them just to give them some time to settle down. So the 18s of both of those ready to drink right now. Now the Fiano, of course, I'm going to talk about the Fiano because it's one of my favorite grapes. Now, sly wink and a nod because every one of these wines is my, one of my favorites. So, but the Fiano right now is an extra favorite. <laughs> it is just showing up beautifully across the board. The color, spectacular, just so unique and different. And it's crisp and it's clean. It's got this beautiful minerality to it, some floral notes. Oh my God, it is so wonderful. And I love how different it is from the traditional wines that we normally have here in California. You know, it's not a Chardonnay, it's not a Sauvignon Blanc, it's not a Pinot Grigio. It is its own thing. Like Viognier, not a Viognier. Viognier is unique in its own way, right? It's got that rich, meaty, yummy flavors to it. This is not like that at all either. So it's its own adjunct and definitely worth picking up, you know, as much as you can, you know, you think you would enjoy. And right now when it's really hot, perfect time for Fiano. Another one that's drinking over the top good is the Sagrantino. Now the 19 Sagrantino, consider that a young wine. I mean, it is something that is like, really 19 bottled six months ago, whatever. It is just spectacular. It is so big. It is so bold. It is so full of those wild tannins that you give it three or four minutes and you have a nice either piece of steak or something hearty with it. And that thing just takes off. It is beautiful. 
and it's a limited supply, so it is not a full on, it's a limited release. So you wanna make sure you pick some up. And especially as a wine club member, cause right now you've got that little extra special discount through the end of the month. Take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. Not seeing a lot of people going, ooh my gosh, there's that extra 10% off. Do it, do it now. Good stuff. All right, and the last thing to highlight in what's tasting good is the 18 Reckless Red. Now, right there, I mean, the Reckless Red in, in and of itself is a, usually a blend of five to seven, sometimes nine different varietals. And the 18 took a little while. I mean, it was really good right away. And now it's hit that I've, all the, the house members have figured out how to live together. And now they're all doing some really interesting and fun things. And so it, the taste is just reflects that. And it, I sold a case of this recently. What a great, uh, great, somebody really understood what was good about this and said, give me a case right now. And we're, so we're getting down near the end of this. Uh, again, it's another one that uh, is, is almost out. So if you're at the next curbside, ah, wait, not curbside. If you're at the next Reckless Wine Day, make sure you get some of this 18 Reckless Red, check it out and pick some up. I'll, I'll say that I've been lucky enough recently to, to ha hang out at a few wineries and, um, and, and participate in some of their events. And that's just something that Miss Rocket and I are lucky enough to be able to do sometimes. One of them was Bouchain, which is in the Canaros region up in Napa and br in relatively new facility, gorgeous, just beautiful. We got invited, uh, one of my coworkers uh, is his wife is works there, and they were having a, uh, a situation where they were bringing a drone crew in and gonna record a bunch of the grounds for some of their advertisements. And he's like, hey, you wanna come in and, and be part of the drone party? I'm like, yeah. He's like, well, be here at 9.30. I'm like, I'm a professional. I'll be there at 9.30. So, you know, drones, drone people film and record, leave in about an hour, and we were there four, four and a half hours later. So it was a beautiful day, highly worth it. Got to hang out with the winemaker. We, it was just a really cool facility and a great, some really good wines. Now, more traditional napa -y kind of wines, especially Canaros wines, right? Your Chardonnays and your Pinots. They got, you know, I think half a dozen variations of those two things. But they also have some other adjunct things that are wonderful. And so you can tell that it's not, they're just, they're not trying to be so staid in the, we must make certain things. Uh, and the variations were actually wonderful. So check that one out, Bouchain. Another one we were able to go to was the Maramar. Now Maramar is up in, in Sebastopol. Maramar Torres. That's her name. She's the owner of the winery. She is one of the tourist family, which is huge in Spain. So very, very cool Spanish wines, strong influence, also very Chardonnay, Pinot centric. And then you get interesting things like a Goodell, right? That was why we were there. We were for the, for the Goodell release party. Frankly, I'd never heard of the Goodell varietal. I'm supposed to make sure, you know, tell you that I've heard of all these varietals. Nope. Hadn't heard of that one. Got there, tried it, loved it. Um, light, bright, supple, went with everything we had. And uh, yeah, so it was a lovely, lovely time. And then they have some Albareños and some other Spanish influence that is just fantastic. And their events are top notch as well. Like there's a pa paella thing, um, there's flamenco dancing. Yeah, they've got all sorts of really great things up there. Maramar, M-A-R-I-M-A-R. If you're ever in that Sebastopol area, highly recommend checking it out. Well, that's all for this update. I hope you're staying safe. Keep yourself sane. Make sure you're paying attention to those things around you. Make good decisions. Drink some reckless wine. I'm Rocket. This has been another Musings from Rocket Cellar.